Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiancé right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is about a couple that we haven't spoken about in quite some time and that's because these two haven't returned to 90 Day Fiancé in a couple of years. So, of course, we're talking about Hamza Mokni and his ex Memphis Smith. Now, today's story is really about Hamza because he just recently, a few hours ago, posted a picture on his Instagram stories that is raising a lot of eyebrows, raising a lot of questions, and it looks to be a little confusing and perhaps even heartbreaking. So Hamza posted a picture in the hospital with a couple of broken heart emojis. So what exactly is going on with Hamza? Is he okay? This is the question that everybody wants answered. Or is Hamza going to the school of other 90 Day Fiance uh, cast members like Nicole Naftiger and posting clickbait content on a social media to try to, you know, stir up interest uh, to, towards his social media account. So we're going to get into that in a second. Now, if you guys remember the story with Hamza and Memphis, this was perhaps one of the most toxic and disastrous relationships that we have seen on the show. And the reason for that is because both of these people were immature when they got into a relationship and Memphis went to Tunisia and she met up with Hamza and basically they had sex the first night that she got there even though you know Hamza's mom basically made him promise that that would never happen and Hamza did as much as promised that would never happen that still happened and basically she got pregnant in record time just like that a lot of people speculated at the time that Memphis was already pregnant when she went to Tunisia and she basically insisted on having sex with Hamza quickly because she wanted to dump this baby that wasn't hers on him. Now, I don't think those rumors were true, but a lot of people did believe that at the time simply because Memphis's actions were just a little confusing to many people, especially considering that she was the older person in this relationship and should have been more mature considering that she already had two other kids so that led to a disastrous split once Hamza came to the U.S. and since then Hamza has been living in Chicago uh, separate from Memphis and they've had a custody battle that I don't believe that Hamza has won and he is uh, you know he's still trying to see his daughter that he accuses Memphis of holding away from him and not letting him be the father that he wants and can be for his daughter but let's check out what's going on with Hamza today so Hamza Mokni posts a concerning photo from hospital bed now um you know Hamza from before the 90 days posted a selfie from a hospital bed on his Instagram story and perhaps he is indicating that he is unwell so it's a bit of a cryptic mysterious photo from the hospital now fans do question Hamza's motives for sharing a cryptic Instagram story without context or explanation and this is the reason why i bring up nicole navziger because nicole navziger puts out these cryptic posts and we'll do a, another video on nicole navziger because she is i would say the most shameless of all of these cast members that does this posts crazy stuff about azan being dead even about her own daughter now we'll go into detail um you know about that in another video but i'm not saying that this is what Hamza is doing, but it just reminds me of what I've seen on Nicole's account because she never posts any context and neither did Hamza in this scenario. Hamza Mokni uh, from 90 Day Fiance shared a worrying picture on Instagram that showed him lying in a hospital bed. Now, he did debut on Before the 90 Day Season 5 with Memphis Smith. The couple found each other on a dating website and eight months later, Memphis flew to Tunisia and married Hamza in record speed. They welcomed their daughter on uh, October or in October 2021. I can't believe it's been three years already, guys. It's crazy how fast time flies. I feel like this was just last year, but it's already been almost no, two years and a half, I guess. But after Hamza arrived in the USA on a CR1 visa, they began experiencing marital issues and eventually separated. Memphis and Hamza are currently in a custody battle over their daughter and that's what i thought guys i don't believe that this custody battle is settled however it's a pretty nasty one because memphis does not want hamza to be involved in you know in their daughter's life and she has accused and we've done we've you know we've done a video about this in the past she has accused 
Hamza of being abusive to her and at one point even shared some photos of Jeffrey Paschal. And you guys know the Jeffrey Paschal story. I still can't believe that TLC decided to bring Jeffrey Paschal, who is now serving 18 years in prison. Maybe it's a little less now because he went to prison about a year ago. Uh, and, uh, you know, she shared some pictures of Jeffrey Paschal, basically hinting that she was comparing Hamza to perhaps the biggest abuser, criminal, etc. That everything that you want to say in 90 Day Fiance history. So a pretty shocking accusation. But of course, on the counter side of that, uh, Memphis never really provided any proof towards any of those accusations or comparisons to Jeffrey Paschal. Now, of course, Jeffrey did go to court and, uh, you know, the, the lady that was accusing him of some really heinous acts did provide a lot of proof. And so that's a very different case than what we have here. But of course, Memphis did put out those accusations and she did get a lot of flack as well because people did want proof that she never really provided. Now, Hamza recently shared an Instagram story with a photo of him in a hospital bed. And also, interestingly, this picture is in black and white, as you guys can see. Now, the picture showed Hamza lying down with his eyes closed. He didn't have a shirt on and had ECG electrodes on his chest. The Tunisian reality star didn't provide any more details about his situation. Now, this can be seen on his stories right here. And this is it, guys. This is the story. And, you know, it's not much to go on, but people are wondering what the heck is going on with Hamza. Like, is he dying why does he have wires coming out of his body? He's there with his eyes closed like he's basically in a morgue. And people are, you know, people are wondering what is going on. Now, you know, if we go and read his his comments, people are accusing him of being thirsty and looking for attention because people are saying that if you are seriously ill and something really bad has happened to you, you probably don't go on social media and post a picture of yourself, you know, basically dying. You know, I tend to agree with that. It's not something I would do. I don't know about you guys, but my first thought wouldn't be to go out there and post this cryptic post like I'm dying. Like I would just take the time, talk with the doctors, get my family there and all of that stuff. I wouldn't really go for the publicity aspect of the situation. I just, I just, I don't know. I think it's wrong. And obviously he is publicizing it because he is posting it on his Instagram stories and obviously he wants people to talk about it because he wants people to wonder what is going on because otherwise he would have provided more context to this. And so the people that do think that this is a bit of a PR kind of thing, I tend to be on that side for those reasons. I really think that Hamza could have provided more context to this picture uh, if he wasn't just fishing for attention which i do think that he is doing now uh let's go back and finish this piece here he only shared a photo alongside two broken heart emojis hinting he was in trouble the background of the photo hinted that he wasn't in a normal hospital room and said it appeared to be an emergency room with various facilities now uh many night they fiance discussed hamza's hospital photo on a reddit thread and and some felt concerned for him other questioned his motivations you know behind posting such a cryptic photo if he took the selfie himself I'd say he looks stable. It's a weird thing to do. And then acting like his eyes are closed, admitting Hamza's post was a bit cringeworthy. Another person said, I don't know how to explain it, but I just know this wasn't his first take. So people are questioning that he actually tried to do multiple shots of himself, you know, looking like he is dying. And I have to wonder, did Hamza take that picture himself? Did he have a photographer there? Because usually, guys... When you go to the hospital and if you're in a serious condition and it's an emergency and you're fearing for your life, which is what he's hinting at here, usually the doctor isn't going to be like, okay, Hamza, yes, I'm going to take this beautiful picture of you so you can go post it on Instagram. Like that just doesn't seem to be the way that doctors operate. So something odd is at play here. Fans are in wrong to question Hamza's motivations. Now the 90 Day Fiancé alum took the time to post a hospital photo on IG, and he didn't provide any details. He also posted concerning emojis, but didn't say anything else. Now, it seems like Hamza's goal was to gain sympathy from fans. Previously, he did something similar when Memphis didn't allow him to meet his daughter. He posted sad photos to stir conversation and make people care for him. The hospital selfie seems to be in a similar vein 
which is why it made fans roll their eyes. Now, relatives and friends often help out their loved ones in times of need. It's probably that someone close to Hamza shared the photo to let fans know about his critical condition. I don't know about that, guys. But, um, you know, this is... I, I have to think that this is a publicity move. Now, you know, in, in the piece that we went there, it says that, you know, perhaps this is to gain sympathy. But if he is taking these rehearsed pictures of himself looking like he's dying, I think that the last thing that he's going to be getting is sympathy because fans, you know, fans are on Hamza's side. And this whole Hamza versus Memphis debate that we've had, and we've done a bunch of videos when this story came out back in the day. That was two years ago. We did tons of stories on Memphis and Hamza. And a lot of you guys that watched those, if you didn't, you can go back and check the videos that we did. We did a lot of them. A lot of you guys felt very strongly and passionately on Memf um, I mean, on Hamza's side because you all thought, and I myself included, also felt the same way, that Memphis, there was something off about her. Like she wasn't really telling us the truth and she was trying to make herself the victim and she was doing some things that I think were very hurtful. Like, you know, when you have a newborn baby with somebody and then you try to cut out the father from the baby's life when the father very obviously and publicly wants to be a part of that life, that just doesn't feel right. And she was trying to do that the whole time and then putting out all of these crazy allegations that Hamza was this violent abuser without proving any of those claims. It made people question Memphis. And I think that we saw... Similar things when we saw the Devin Clegg and Ji Hoon storyline where Devin made some crazy allegations about Ji Hoon, like he was punching their daughter uh, or Memphis, I mean, Devin's daughter, Drusilla in the stomach and being super abusive and everything like that. And of course, not proving any of it, not backing any of those claims. And at some point, even kind of getting TLC producers involved into those allegations hinting that they allowed the whole thing to happen which is reason which is the reason why i think that devin kind of got canceled from tlc in the first place but um some similar stuff with memphis and didn't prove any of it didn't provide any proof or anything like that and she lost fans uh and i think uh that was a very reasonable thing to do if you're a fan uh you know of the show i think that hamza seemed like a nice guy his family seemed like very nice people we met his sister his mom who was was also a single mom as well uh she seemed like she really cared for hamza he seemed like he was from a good family and i think that we all kind of saw that and memphis i think that we just didn't really understand her actions we didn't understand why she moved so fast why she got married so quickly why it almost felt like she went to tunisia with the intention of getting pregnant a lot of people had questions about that and memphis lost the fan base as a result now hamza has to be careful here because if he is indeed faking this i think he could also lose the fan base but you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below do you think that if there was something seriously wrong with hamza and he was seriously ill he would publicize this like that would what looks to be let's be honest the perfectly snap picture for social media do you guys think that that's what he would do i don't know for some reason i find it hard to believe but maybe i'm just being cynical so you guys will let me know what you think in the comment section down below hope you guys did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the channel and by the way guys um another interesting part of the storyline between hamza and memphis is the custody battle debate now we don't have any update about that as of this time but when we do be sure that I will bring that information to you guys. All right, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.